Ex cheated so we divorced and I changed a lot but our kids hate me for that now. I'm a 53 year old woman, and I've been divorced from my ex-husband Larry, he's 54, for 6 years now. We've got two grown kids together, Steve, who's 27, and Carla, who's 25. Larry and I go way back to our college days. We were both studying electrical engineering, and honestly, we were the definition of nerds, looked the part too. But there was definitely some chemistry between us. Or at least I thought so at the time. We got hitched not long after graduating, both diving into our engineering careers. A few years into it though, Larry decided being an engineer wasn't cutting it for him. He made a pivot and went to law school to chase the patent lawyer life. That's when everything changed. Larry wanted to fit the lawyer mold, so he completely revamped his look. He went all out, tailored suits, slick haircuts, fancy accessories like watches, and even hit the gym hard to ditch his dad bod for a lean, fit physique. Meanwhile, I was at home juggling life with two small kids, holding down about 95% of the household responsibilities since he was always drowning in work, all while working full-time myself. I'll admit I didn't go through a transformation like he did. My look's always been pretty straightforward. Not overweight, but a bit stocky. 5 of 5 140 pounds, simple haircut, glasses, practical wardrobe, and barely any makeup. Larry was into it for the first 10 years or so, but once he became a lawyer, his taste shifted, and he started gravitating toward women who were more traditionally attractive. Long story short, he had multiple affairs. When I pushed for us to go to counseling, he came out with some pretty harsh stuff, saying the problem wasn't just my style, but my big nose and my post-pregnancy tummy, things that no makeover was going to magically fix. At that point, I was preparing to file for divorce when life threw a curveball. Carla got hit by a car while riding her bike. She made it through, but it was a long haul, years of surgeries and intense rehab. Larry and I made a deal to stay married for the sake of Carla and Steve. We wanted to give them some stability while Carla recovered, so we played nice. Meanwhile, Larry didn't stop seeing other women, but I was well past the point of caring about his loyalty. After Carla left for college, we finally called it quits and filed for divorce. Larry moved on quickly and is now remarried to a much younger woman, she's 33. In the last few years, I finally decided to make myself a priority, including how I look. With my kids grown and out of the nest, and no longer having to tiptoe around a problematic husband, I finally got the time and energy to invest in me. I didn't go under the knife for a nose job or plastic surgery like Larry would have preferred, but I did revamp my style. I changed up my hair, started working out more, dropped about 15 pounds, refreshed my wardrobe, and even jumped into the dating pool. I haven't found a steady partner yet, but I've been going to singles events for my age group and regularly going on dates. Sadly, my kids hate the new me. They've made it clear that they hold me responsible for the divorce and are furious that I didn't level up for Larry when it supposedly mattered. They think I was too selfish and lazy to try back then. Steve, my son who's about to get married, told me he's too mad to have me at the wedding. And Carla. She's barely speaking to me. I had a solid relationship with both of them before I started focusing on myself a couple of years ago, which was long after Larry and I officially split. Steve and Carla insist that the only way to fix things is for me to revert to my old self, that means stop dyeing my hair, ditch the new clothes and give up dating. What really bothers them is me being out there, trying to find someone new. They don't think it's fair. Additional information. First, where did I ever say I had no sex drive? Our sex life was fantastic for the first decade of our relationship, including after having two kids. It only diminished after he decided he had other attraction preferences as he started to rise in the lawyer ranks at his firm. Next, where did I ever say I didn't maintain my appearance? I did in fact maintain the appearance I'd had since college. I said we were both on the nerdy side. I maintained a healthy weight, even after kids, and always looked tidy and appropriate for the occasion. In my case, the occasion just happened to be my engineering job and my family household responsibilities. I just didn't have high-end haircuts and designer clothes, etc. Was I a bit frumpy? Probably, as compared to a big firm lawyer with a $500 haircut and regular spa treatments. But I didn't let myself go by changing my appearance for the worse after marriage. Also, I don't think it's fair to say that I didn't improve myself in any capacity during our marriage. I advanced significantly in my career while keeping a warm and loving home, cooking healthy meals, and otherwise raising our kids. Those were my priorities, especially after Carla's accident. I don't think I got what I had coming just for not wanting painful and time-consuming plastic surgery. Especially as one of the big things he wanted me to do was get a nose job when I was already perfectly happy with my nose. If he'd suggested some smaller changes, like updating my hairstyle and wardrobe or even a gym membership, and had broached the idea kindly and had given me time to do these things, I likely would have been more amenable. But as it was he set the bar so high, surgery, that it didn't seem like I could reasonably make him happy. Relevant Comments
OP on prioritizing herself and her health in order to be there for her marriage and family. OP, thanks for this. I do want to say that it's not like I didn't take care of myself at all. I maintained a healthy weight, wore clean and tidy clothes, etc. I just wasn't extremely polished like the high-powered lawyers who were Larry's new colleagues because there wasn't time to prioritize that. I didn't let myself go by any means, I just stayed the same person that Larry married while he changed. The kids have said that I didn't put in the work to make Larry happy, something he has complained loudly about to them, so I don't deserve to have a relationship now. I'm trying to understand their position but it seems very judgmental. OP responds to comments on if her children knew their father cheated on her. OP, yes, they know he cheated. He regularly paraded the other women in front of them as daddy's friends and openly left me for the young woman he subsequently married. But he convinced them that he had no choice because I was a slob. I disagree with this assessment, I just had a plain and simple appearance, and he became out of my league in terms of looks and professional standing. Yes, they know he was repeatedly unfaithful and that he ultimately left me for someone else, he did not try to hide this, but he has convinced them that I drove him away after he begged me to pay more attention to my appearance and I refused. I mean, no, I wasn't going to go get painful and time-consuming plastic surgeries while I was working full-time, doing nearly all the childcare and household tasks, and then coordinating my daughter's medical care and rehab after her accident, especially as it's not like he offered to help and do more so that I'd have time to do more appearance-related stuff. I do appreciate you saying that I deserve to be happy and healthy now. Yes, they know about the cheating and still blame me. They say, as he does, that he wouldn't have cheated if I'd paid more attention to my appearance. OP on why her children have a say in what she wears. OP, they think that I'm basically rubbing it in my ex's face, and theirs, that I never cared about him because I couldn't be bothered to fix myself up until after we were divorced. I've explained that it just had to do with time and bandwidth that I have now that I'm single and the kids are grown but they aren't buying it. And no, of course the ex doesn't go back. The kids just think I deserve to be alone and frumpy, I guess, because I wasn't a perfect wife in my marriage. OP on if her ex did anything for her during their marriage together. OP, heh, he really didn't do anything. I mean, he made good money so we had a nice house, but honestly it was a pretty cold and lonely place. I would have been much happier if he'd stayed an engineer working normal hours and we could have equally shared childcare household responsibilities and had quality time together. Update. While I do agree that the behavior of my adult children Steve, 27M and Carla, 25F, has been extremely judgmental and unkind, to say the least, I am not ready to write them off. I realize that since they started in with their criticisms a couple of years ago when I started changing my appearance, I have been very defensive and dismissive. Perhaps that is justified, but as I do want to make every effort to maintain a good relationship with my children, I decided that it would be best to listen with an open mind. This doesn't mean I'm going to go back to my old frumpy appearance to accommodate them, of course not, but just that I'm open to hearing what is really bothering them so we can hopefully talk it out. When I contacted them both to request this, they agreed to have brunch with me this coming weekend, which is a good start. Perhaps the conversation won't change anything, but I'd always regret it if I didn't try, and listening is free. Many of the commenters felt that some info must have been missing from my initial post. I thought I hit all the main points, but can fill in a bit more detail here. For about the first decade of my relationship with my ex-husband Larry, things were really wonderful, or at least I thought so. As I mentioned, we met in college as electrical engineering students who both had fairly plain and unfashionable appearances by conventional. Honestly, as a nerdy woman I have always been much, much more attracted to nerdy looking men than super polished ones, just a better match for me I guess. Larry seemed crazy about me from the get-go and I was equally crazy about him. We graduated, both got good engineering jobs, bought a house and started our family. We had a very warm and loving home, lots of quality intimacy, and frequently hosted our equally nerdy friends for D&D &D and anime nights. Then Larry decided he wanted to go to law school. Nothing really changed for the first couple years, but the law school career counselors advised him to spruce up his appearance when it was time to start applying for attorney jobs. Hence his own glow-up began. Even after that, for his first couple years as a law firm associate, he jokingly referred to his new look as his silly lawyer costume and looked forward to coming him to change into his anime t-shirts. I didn't try to match his new appearance because a, he never asked me to, and b, initially it seemed like it was just some sort of uniform for him that he was somewhat uncomfortable with. However, this all changed abruptly one night when I was supposed to accompany him to an awards dinner for his firm. Knowing that it was a fancy thing and that I wasn't the best with fashion, etc. I actually went and got my hair and makeup professionally done and worked with a personal shopper to select what I thought was a flattering dress and shoes appropriate for the occasion. However, when Larry saw me in this getup he suddenly got angry, made lipstick on a pig type comments, and threw out the insults about my nose and post-baby tummy pooch. I learned shortly afterwards that he'd started an affair with a colleague, 
who happened to have a small, pert nose and flat stomach. Even after he was so mean, I was still hopeful that we could get counseling and work through this, but he didn't want to. I will admit I was paralyzed for a while and also didn't want to make any rash moves due to the impact on the kids, and perhaps I could have made better decisions there. But by the time I was actually ready, emotionally and logistically, to proceed with a divorce, Carla had her accident and I had to shift gears to prioritizing her recovery. On another note, contrary to what some commenters assumed, my post-divorce glow-up had nothing to do with wanting to meet new men. Initially, it was precipitated by having a work-related opportunity to do more high-profile client-facing activities, and I received some gentle guidance from my supervisor that it would be a great time to update my appearance, hence the new hairstyle, wardrobe, makeup, manicures, etc. In addition, once I hit 50 my A1C started creeping a bit higher, as diabetes runs in my family, although at 5'5 5, 5 and 140 pounds I wasn't medically overweight, my doctor advised that losing just a few pounds, coupled with some dietary tweaks and changing up my exercise routine, would be a good idea. So I added yoga, pilates and strength training to the hiking and cycling I already did and ended up losing about 15 pounds over the course of a year. I'd always been physically active, despite some commenters accusing me of being lazy, I just wasn't focused on sculpting my body to look a certain way as opposed to general fitness. Once I slimmed down and updated my look, I did find myself getting a lot more attention from men. So I figured since I'd been single for a few years I might as well lean into it and start dating. But again that wasn't the initial reason. Some commenters asked if I'd spent family money on my makeover and if that might be what was making my children upset. The answer to that is no. Larry and I divided our assets in the divorce, he got the big house we had lived in and paid me for my share which allowed me to buy a much smaller house and have plenty left. Although, as a law firm partner, he makes about 10x what I do, I did not request any alimony beyond my 50% of our assets, which had all been accumulated during the marriage. Anyway, if folks are interested I can post an additional update next week once I can talk to my children and find out more about what their issue is. Relevant Comments What were OP's ex's reactions to her glow up? Larry and I have been divorced for 6 years and he's been remarried for 5 years now. He hasn't said anything to me about it directly either way. As the children are adults we aren't in contact much and only occasionally see each other at group family events. I've seen him a few times in passing. He is now married to an extremely conventionally attractive woman in her early 30s, over 20 years younger than we are. He told me, when we were married that he was no longer attracted to me because my nose is too big and because I had a post-baby tummy pooch and that, basically, he was going to keep seeing other women unless I had plastic surgery. And no, my makeover did not include any plastic surgery so it's not like I eventually did the things he demanded. I do think I look great for my age, 53, but I'm certainly not going to compete in the looks department with a woman 20 years younger. OP on her children's thoughts about her. I'm pretty perplexed as well. They are adults with their own lives, they are both employed and have their own residences, and they both have significant others, so it's not like what I look like or whether or not I date affects their day-to-day -day lives but it's possible I may be missing something. I will ask them when I see them this weekend, at least if there is an opening to do so. He doesn't have kids with the new wife, I don't know what their plans are there, but they have been married for 5 years and haven't had kids yet. I'm still planning to keep up my new appearance, which I need to do anyway for job and health reasons as stated in my post, regardless of what they say. But I do really want to know why they are so upset about me improving myself. I updated my look because my job required it. Much like Larry had to update his own look for professional reasons all those years ago. I lost weight recently because my doctor suggested it to stave off diabetes. Before, there wasn't a health-related reason to lose weight because I wasn't medically overweight and didn't have any health issues. They likely don't know the full extent of the verbal abuse. Frankly, I didn't want to air dirty laundry and come between my children and their father, per the advice of any mental health expert advising people going through a divorce but perhaps I can share a bit more now that they appear to be judging me without having all the info.